Hey there, this is Joey, back again with another marvelous video. Natasha Romanoff is undoubtedly one of the most accomplished members of the Avengers, and she has certainly lived quite a life. Ranging from her time as an assassin to a spy, she has certainly come a long way and proved herself to be a valuable part of the Avengers team. While she may seem like a regular human being, the Black Widow has a fascinating physiology and has most certainly earned her place among the Earth's mightiest heroes. Today, we will explore her physiology in detail and tell you all about the anatomy of this badass Avengers member. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Rigorous training made her a deadly fighter. Black Widow has always been portrayed as one of the most skilled fighters in the MCU, and she is undoubtedly quite a deadly opponent in combat. As a child, Natasha Romanoff was trained in the Red Room, where she was given training and education in acrobatics, ballet, martial arts, archery, and so on. The creators of the Captain America comics, Ed Brubaker and Steve Epting, often confirmed that Black Widow trained alongside the Winter Soldier, which further explains why her fighting skills are so well honed. Besides training in the Red Room, Natasha was even injected with a small dose of the Super Soldier Serum, making her a deadly fighter. While the serum does not give her the same level of strength as Captain America, Natasha's rigorous training paired with the effects of the serum make her an accomplished fighter. She had once even single-handedly defeated an alligator without any external assistance, and she has often gone up against famed villains such as Doctor Doom and Iron Maiden, emerging victorious in various fights. What gives her such a high pain tolerance? Black Widow's lifestyle consisted of jumping around from one place to another and chasing villains, and she was no stranger to feeling pain or getting injured in these circumstances. Over time, Natasha's training had helped her develop a high pain tolerance, and she could jump through glass or even tackle opponents twice her size without any trouble. She could even be caught up in an explosion or have bullets shot at her and continue to fight with without batting an eyelash. Natasha's endurance was also an effect of the super serum given to her in limited quantities, and it helped her to have it high pain tolerance beyond the scope of any regular human. Moreover, she had years of experience in fighting and training and had become quite resilient in the face of an attack. She had trained herself to keep going even when she was injured, and she once even displayed her high pain tolerance when she dragged herself out of a hospital after undergoing surgery. This was seen in the Black Widow comics, where Black Widow gets injured and undergoes surgery while being fully conscious, only to leave the hospital right after it. Does Black Widow age slowly? Black Widow did have some special powers, especially in the comics, and many of these were not explored in the MCU. Among other things, she had gotten an anti-aging medical implant that allowed her to appear young and age slowly. She also kept getting biomedical upgrades that helped her stay fit and have a range of abilities such as super speed, resistance, and durability. In the comics, Black Widow was injected with the super serum that gave her a wide range of powers, and this serum also helped her to age slowly and remain youthful for decades. She first appeared in the Tales of Suspense comics as a young girl during World War II, meaning she was already a child in 1942. This implies that she should be around 80 to 90 years old in her last appearances, but this is not the case. The 2004 Black Widow comic series explained that all the Black Widows, including Natasha, have been subjected to genetic manipulation to ensure they age slowly and retain their youth. She handles injuries better than the average human. Natasha Romanoff is extremely fast and strong, and at the same time, she also has an enhanced immune system that makes her very durable. After being injected with the super serum, Black Widow's durability increased significantly, and she could survive even the most fatal injuries without stressing a sweat. She had an incredible healing factor and could recover from any injuries quickly. Mark Wade and Chris Samney's Black Widow comics showed that she could even get back into her usual form and return to a fight in no time after being stabbed. She required barely any medical assistance in order to recover from damage, and it even took a lot of effort to cause her any actual harm. I can't ever, I can't have this, kids. Neither can I. Can Black Widow have a baby? During her initial training years in the Red Room, the Black Widows had undergone a series of treatments that genetically manipulated their bodies and severely altered their biological features. Among other things, the Black Widow was forcibly sterilized in the Red Room to ensure that kids don't get in the way of her career path as a trained assassin. Moreover, they were even forced to get a hysterectomy to ensure they don't menstruate or get pregnant. While the Black Widow cannot have a child in the mainstream Marvel Universe, she does have a child with Captain America and an 
alternate universe storyline. They had a son named James Rogers, who first appeared in an animated show called Next Avengers Heroes of Tomorrow, and he even appears in some comics here and there. While it is sad that we never got to see Natasha and Steve end up together in the MCU, they did get their happy ending in the alternate timelines at least. What's the whole deal with Black Widow's clone? While Natasha Romanoff is just one character, her Black Widow persona has been cloned over time, and different characters have assumed the role of the Black Widow. Only in the main universe, two other people were cloned into the Black Widow, and they were perfect duplicates of the character, and had all of her powers and abilities. One such character was Clairvoyant, who was even known as Satan's ambassador. As the Black Widow, she fought evil beings and then collected their spirits to deliver them to the devil. On the other hand, Yelena Belova was another essential character who was given the role of the Black Widow, and she also had a similar background as Natasha's character. Yelena was a Russian spy who first started as Natasha's enemy but later became a part of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yelena was part of the Black Widow film and she could appear as the new Black Widow in the fourth phase of the MCU. In the 2017 Secret Empire comics, Black Widow's clones were actually explored in great detail when she was killed by Captain America. In this storyline, Captain America had taken over the United States as a Hydra agent and Natasha then headed to Washington with a team of heroes to get rid of him. However, Captain America got the upper hand during the fight and snapped her neck with his shield. Of course, the real Steve Rogers does return and then gets rid of the evil Captain America, but that is a story for another day. As the story returns to the Black Widow's death, Hawkeye and the Winter Soldier find themselves confused when a bunch of Hydra agents are killed with the same technique that Black Widow used. They conclude that she might still be alive and even hunt Yelena down as they believe that she is acting as the second Black Widow. However, things take a turn when Yelena is also murdered a little while after they discover her, and they then witness the original Black Widow appearing right in front of their eyes. We then learn that the Red Room had cloned the bodies of their High Order operatives, and they replaced them every time one of them was murdered. After Black Widow's death, the Red Room operatives used a psychic to place her life memories in her clone's body and hardwired her to remain loyal to the Red Room. However, Black Widow's friend, Ursa Major, once bribed the psychic to bring all her memories back without tampering with her mind, and Black Widow then decides to get rid of the Red Room once and for all. After learning the truth about the place, she uses two clones of Yelena to fake the death of a shield agent as well as Yelena's death. Finally, she makes a grand entrance and then wipes out all the clones stored in the Red Room so they can never be used again. Please. Can Black Widow really die? While Black Widow had an incredible story arc that extended across universes and timelines, her story finally came to an end when she sacrificed herself in Avengers Endgame. When the Black Widow film was released after Endgame, we were even introduced to Natasha's adopted sister, Yelena Belova. This movie focused on Black Widow's backstory, but the post credit scene showed Yelena going through a folder and then finally blaming Clint Barton, aka Hawkeye, for Natasha's death. While Clint cannot be blamed for Natasha's death, he was present with her in her final moments when the Avengers had gone back in time and split up in order to find the Infinity Stones before Thanos. Natasha and Clint teamed up and went to the planet of Vormir to retrieve the Soul Stone, where they learned that they needed to exchange a soul for getting their hands on it. The Guardian of the Soul Stone was an entity known as the Red Skull, and both Clint and Natasha were ready to sacrifice their lives to get the stone. However, Natasha acted fast and jumped off the cliff to sacrifice herself before Clint could take any drastic actions, and her sacrifice helped the Avengers gain the Soul Stone. However, this was the end of Natasha's storyline, at least in the chronological order of events, and she died an honorable death and defended humanity until her last breath. Conclusion. To sum it up, Black Widow is undoubtedly one of Marvel's most formidable superheroes, and she has proved her worth time and time again. Along with incredible fighting skills, enhanced features, and her inability to age, Black Widow has quite a unique physiology, and she's certainly a valuable part of the Avengers team. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.